Good evening. My name is Anne Sado, and I'm Japanese American, third generation, but have lived in Japan for over 40 years. My topic today is Do you feel a 21st century shift in values, which is increasing the feminine? in terms of energy and feeling. Do you feel it? Do you see it? Feminine is often considered to mean inclusion, acceptance. Women are very good at that. It is also a balancing of the feminine and the masculine energy the yin and yang, which is another expression. And in Japanese, we say yin yo. Many people go to dojos and meditation centers to find their inner balance, their inner being, so they can balance these opposite energies of feminine and masculine. We live often in a very masculine world. When I was doing management consulting, I always had to think of my male clients. CEOs and executives always who were men. And we learned to use our intuition and emotional intelligence but I could not come out with that. I had to make sure that everything was step by step constructed by logic, which is the value from our 20th century. The 21st century is dominated by more intuition and emotional intelligence. We have to be able to discuss about balancing the two energies of masculine and feminine, but we need to learn how to talk with each other and to accept the diverse and be inclusive. So, we have some women who are really powerful out there in terms of innovation. This is Dr. Sophie Vanderbroek, uh, who is the head of Xerox Innovation. She told us in a talk one day at the ACCJ that patience is no longer a virtue. Impatience is a virtue. I was shocked because being in Japan, you're always told to be patient. It's a Confucian value that the Japanese have upheld for many, many years. But impatience is fine. And in this sense, men are able to express their own more feminine side. And now we have a major milestone in Japan because the paradigm shift is allowing for us to be inclusive of the diverse, which is the LGTB movement that is starting in Japan. Many young men in companies have told me how oppressed they felt when they couldn't express their feminine side as gay. And women also of their masculine side as lesbian. Now we have the Shibuya Award accepting gay couples. This is an incredible progress. I had an uncle who was a bandman and later became a dressmaker and he was gay. And I learned a lot from him to accept diversity and inclusion. 
Now, the paradigm shift continues, and I really think it's the ignition of the smart power. Women are considered to have soft power. They are able to manage and help other people. Men are considered to have more hard power. They like to fight. But combining the two, the soft and the hard power, we have the strategic combination of smart power. We are able to accept each other, forget fighting, and talk with the depth of diversity and inclusion, which means we respect and accept each other. So, how many of you in this room feel that you are really accepting diversity and inclusion? Please raise your hands. I'm glad to see many hands up there. And we are now able to let our inner child out so that our it doesn't matter which gender side we are, whether female or male, we are now partnering with each other to be able to accept each other in a more dynamic and intimate relationship. Japanese men and women have been taught not to express their emotions so honestly, but the 21st century shift in the value and the paradigm shift allows all of us to be truly proud of our own selves, standing up for our conviction as to what we believe in. And so, I ask all of you, forget to fight, just talk and really understand each other. This is the key and to have that diversity and inclusion mindset, respecting and accepting each other. Thank you.